In Creole Parametric, you can use copy and paste and copy and paste special to duplicate features within your current model or even to another model. Let's take a look at copy and paste and copy and paste special within a model. Here I have a crankshaft and I have a couple sketches and a protrusion and a cut that I want to use for making a second lobe in this crankshaft part. To simplify things, I'm going to use insert mode to go up a few features in the model tree to simplify it. Right now I have those features located around the lobe one plane. I want them over here about where the lobe two plane is. And I also want it to be rotated 180 degrees from its current position. So let's take a look at how to do that. First off, you can select the features that you want to use, and I'm going to use the Shift key to grab them. If you wanted to, you could put them in a local group and then copy and paste the group, but you don't have to do that. Right now, the copy icon is available. You'll notice that it is the same keyboard shortcut, Control-C, as in most Windows programs. Let's hit the copy button, and now those features are copied onto my clipboard and that's why you can copy from this model to a, another model instead. Now that they are copied from paste you can either use the paste command or paste special. You'll see that the paste shortcut is control V again like in most Windows programs. Paste special is control shift V. Let's choose to paste these and when I use the regular paste option, because this is a sketch-based feature, it wants me to relocate the sketch. And so here I'm going to select this as my new sketch plane. Right now it's going to have the orientation reference plane top face the top of the screen. I want this rotated 180 degrees. I happen to know from checking out the sketch for the first feature that I copied that it has top face the top of the screen. If I change top, the datum plane top to face the bottom of the screen, that'll rotate it 180 degrees. Now let's click the sketch button and I can just drop the sketch on the screen here. There you can see it in there. I could use these different weak dimensions that are suggested to put it into the right place, but what I find easier is to use rotate and resize. And I will just drag a box over the geometry and then choose rotate and resize. And you have a drag handle that you can use to relocate this geometry. You can actually right drag over the drag handle to change where it is snapped into. I actually want this location over here to be located at the intersection of my sketch references. So I will right click over the drag handle and let it snap to that other vertex. Now I can grab the whole entire thing and just let it snap to my sketch references. Here it shows how much it translated, but we don't care about that. Just hit the check mark over here and hit the check mark. And now we get the dashboard for the extrude feature. This allows you to change how this feature was created or change the depth. I'm going to hit the check mark. And here it allows me to preview the resulting geometry. Again, it is translated and rotated, which is what I wanted. So let's hit the check mark out of here. And that way we have our features copied and pasted. And you'll notice it was a little complicated. We had to redefine the sketch plane. We had to know how the original sketch was set up and all that. Quite honestly, personally, I don't use copy and paste a lot for features. I more typically use it for geometry, like copying and pasting surfaces and copying and pasting edges and curve chains. All right, let's take a look at these features over here and try it in a different way. I'm going to select these features over here that I copied and pasted and use delete on them and show you copy and paste special, which I use a whole lot more often. Let's again select those features in the model tree and then copy and then I will paste special. And here we get the paste special dialog box. The first choice that we have in here is a dependent copy. You could uncheck that if you want the new features to be independent of the original features. But let's say I want them to be dependent. I want it so that if 
my original features ever change, then my copy will change as well. By default, partially dependent dimensions and AE details only is selected. So in other words, only the dimensions from the features and any annotation elements, if they exist, are going to be dependent on the original. Instead, you could choose fully dependent, which will make all aspects of the copied features, such as constraints in the sketches, depth options, any other different feature options and attributes dependent on the original. So if the original changes, then the copy will update as well. Then you have two other checkboxes for how you want to locate these in here. And probably the one that I use the most often is move and rotate. I'll show that second. Be aware that if you check one box and then try checking the other, these toggle between each other. You can't do both advanced reference configuration and apply move rotate transformations to copies at the same time. With advanced reference configuration, essentially what you're doing is you're given the option of changing the parent references of the original features to other entities. And this is one way of making the features in a different location in the model. I will choose Advanced Reference Configuration and click OK. And then we get the Advanced Reference Configuration dialog box. And the original features in here had four different references. It uses this datum plane for locating the features. Then we have top used a couple times, probably for orientation reference planes. And then it also uses the A1 axis going down the middle of the part. The only thing that I'm going to change in here is lobe 1. I'll select lobe 2 as the new plane for locating the features. And then it automatically advances to the next ones in here. Let's hit the check mark because that is the only reference I'm going to change. Then I'm allowed to select a new body for it to go to. I'm happy with it being in body 1 and being added to the geometry in here. Let's hit the check mark as well. And then for pasting this in here, here it's using the datum plane lobe one in here. And then we have top for the other features. Let's hit the check mark. And again, do we want it to go into body one? And here we have the copied features, but this didn't quite end up right. I didn't get exactly what I wanted to. Let's take a look at doing this with a different option for dependency. Let's select these different features in here. Oh yeah, by the way, with these copied features, you have the option to break dependence or remove dependence. Break dependence is temporary. Remove dependence is permanent. But let's delete these features over here and click the OK button. And again, you'll see there's a lot of intricacies involved with copy and paste. So select these features here, copy. Let's do a paste special. This time I'll use the regular dependent copy. Let's do the advanced reference configuration again. I will click the OK button. And here we have our different references. You'll notice that the datum plane top is only listed in here once, but we have body listed in here. Let's select. So again, by changing the dependency option, the references are even a little different in the advanced reference configuration dialog box. Let's select the lobe two plane. Everything else we want the same. I'll hit the check box. And what's nice about this option is that I'm able to change the orientation. Here it's saying, hey, this is the orientation for the sketch viewing direction. That's fine. But here for the sketch orientation, it's showing here for the datum plane top, it's facing in this direction over here. I can actually flip this one and then hit the check mark. And in this way, I have gotten those features in my new location and flipped 180 degrees from the original. So this allowed me to get what I want. But let me show you probably the option that I use the most often when I'm doing copy and paste special. Let me right click and choose the delete button from here to get rid of those features. Let's again select the same four features. And they're probably still on my clipboard, but I always like to copy them just to be sure. And then let's use Paste Special. We'll leave the same dependency options. And this time I'm going to use the Advanced Reference Configuration. Let's click the OK button from here. And, oh, actually I meant to use the 
translations and rotations. Let's do paste special. Change this to apply move rotate transformations to copies and then click the OK button. And so there we have a box around the different features. Let's go to the transformation tab. From here you can choose to move or rotate with respect to a given reference. Let me turn on my datum axis display. I will use as my motion reference this axis over here. Then we have a drag handle. I happen to know that it should be a distance of 3.5 along here so I can enter in the value. That's good for the translation, but also I want to rotate. So let's do a new move. Right now it is going to translate again. So you can do multiple translations and rotations when you are using this particular option. This button will allow me to rotate. You could also change it from rotate over here. You can also right mouse click and choose rotate. And for the rotation reference, I will select the same axis. And here we have a drag handle and I can drag it around and ah, there it is, 180 degrees exactly. That is good. If you aren't able to get exactly, you can always double click on the dimensions and change them. And then hit the check mark. And so there we have the features in there. Be aware when you do this one here, we have our moved copy located in there. You don't have those copy options like you have with the... Uh, other one that we did with the fully dependent and the sketches are automatically visible but you can hide them so that they are no longer visible on the screen let's turn off our datum display and there we have our features copied and pasted and again these are sketch based features so especially when you're using copy and paste there's a little more involved with that for getting your features where you want them to be. Again, I most typically use paste special, especially using the apply, move, rotate transformations to copies. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.